Hello friends and here in this section we are going to discuss an example on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. So here the given example is evaluate the value of cos square 72 minus sin square 54 degrees. And here by observing we can see that this is in the form of cos square a minus sin square b which is equal to cos a plus b into cos a minus b. So by comparing both the equations, we can say that A is equal to 72 degrees and B is equal to 54 degrees. And now let us expand the given example by using the formula that is cos A plus B. So here we get cos A which is 72 degrees plus B which is 54 degrees into cos A minus B. So here we get cos 72 degrees minus 54 degrees. So here by adding, we get cos 72 degrees plus 54 degrees which is cos 126 degrees into cos 72 degrees minus 54 degrees which is cos 18 degrees and here we can write cos 126 in the form of 90 degrees plus theta so let us write this so by writing we get here cos 90 degrees plus 36 degrees into cos 18 degrees and now this is in the form of cos 90 degrees plus theta and here by using the formula of cos 90 degrees plus theta which is equal to minus sine theta so now let us write the value here. So here by writing, we get minus sine theta which is 36 degrees here into cos 18 degrees. And here by using the value of sine 36 degrees and cos 18 degrees which we already proved in our previous videos. That is sine 36 degrees is equal to under root 10 minus 2 root 5 by 4. And the value of cos 18 degrees which is equal to under root 10 plus 2 root 5 by 4. So, by substituting these values of sine and cos, here we get minus of the value of sine 36, which is under root 10 minus 2 root 5 by 4 into the value of cos 18 degrees, which is under root 10 plus 2 root 5 by 4. And now let us multiply this. And here by multiplying, we get minus of under root 10 minus 2 root 5 into 10 plus 2 root 5 divided by 4 into 4, which is 16. By observing, we can see that this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So here by using the formula of a minus b into a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So now by using this formula, let us write this equation in the form of a square minus b square. So that implies we get here minus of under root a square which is 10 square here minus b square which will be 2 root 5 whole square divided by 16. And now let us find the value for 2 root 5 whole square. So 2 root 5 whole square can be written as 2 square which is 4 into root 5 whole square. And here square square root gets cancelled so we get 4 into 5 which is equal to 20. So 20 is the value for 2 root 5 whole square. And now let us substitute the value of 2 root 5 here. So by substituting we get minus of under root 10 square which is 100 minus the value of 2 root 5 whole square which is 20 divided by 16. So that implies we get here minus of under root 100 minus 20 which is 80 divided by 16. And here under root 80 can be written as 16 into 5. So let us write this in the form of 16 into 5. So here we get minus of under root 16 into 5 divided by 16. So that implies we can write this as minus of square root of 16 into square root of 5 divided by 16. So that implies we get here minus of square root of 16 which is 4 into root 5 divided by 16. And here by simplifying 4 1 time is 4 and 4 4 times is 16. So here we get minus root 5 by 4 as the result for the value of cos square 72 minus sine square 54. So make a note of all these formulas as these formulas are very important in solving further examples. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on trigonometry on our channel vtechacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.